Will amputating your arm help if you get bitten by a zombie? Most likely not. If you're sure the virus is deadly, there's no vaccine yet, and time until death is running out, then go ahead and chop it off. Anyway, you have got nothing to lose, but most likely you will just become a one-armed zombie. The main rule of survival is to be prepared for it in advance. So today we're going to learn how to survive in a zombie apocalypse. Lego version. Well, you should watch this video until the end because many tips and life hacks can be useful in your everyday life. Emily lives with her daughter in one of the small settlements of survivors. Her husband left them at the beginning of the epidemic, thinking that he had a better chance of surviving alone. Emily narrowly avoided becoming a walking dead and now she's got herself some new buddies in a crib. In the prior video, Emily succeeded in capturing one of the marauders and at present she was transporting him to her camp for the elder to determine how to handle the murderer. However, when she returned to the base, she found out that the whole settlement was burned down and the residents were killed. No, Jessica, why are you standing? Help me! I would do better with my hands untied. Jesse! Jesse! Oh my god, this is old man Rob. He was the elder of our settlement. However, my daughter is not present, similar to certain other residents. I believe the identical gang that assaulted my camp also targeted the village. I was also abducted, but I was able to flee. I don't know how, but we must find Jessica, and you will help me with that. What made you believe I would assist you? Due to the fact that I saved your life, please make sure that I do not end up regretting it. Prior to commencing the search, the heroes will require a fresh temporary base where they can reside and get ready for raids. After rummaging through the ruins of the camp, they manage to find a few old tools and some food in the gardens. In the old man Rob's pocket, Emily found a little key and a map. She had a hunch about what kind of key it was, so after carefully inspecting the ruins of the elder's house, she found a small steel door among the ashes. It was a slightly safe concealed beneath the floor. It contained a small number of gold jewelry, a revolver, and the smartphone that belonged to Rob in the past. It seems to be his emergency stash. Wow, this is a smartphone. I will try to charge it from the battery. Why do you need a smartphone in a zombie apocalypse world? For what reason? I have been dreaming for such a long time to play my favorite role-playing game once more. Thrilling boss battles, arena fights, a vast array of cool characters and their gradual leveling up. Can a game truly be that significant when there are actual zombies roaming in the vicinity? Absolutely, as long as it's the game Rage Shadow Legends. Popular RPG with a diverse collection of heroes, played by an impressive 80 million players from around the world. More than 800 unique champions from different factions. Billions of ways to tune and create your own champions. A wide variety of incredible bosses to battle against. An unlimited amount of content, along with fresh champions and new updates each month in Raid Shadow Legends. Some individuals claim there is no depth or strategy in this game, but simply observe. The game is impressive due to the level of detail and development of each character, realistic battles, deep tactical gameplay, and high quality graphics, even on the largest monitors. An individual may argue that gaming consumes a significant amount of time, but I will inform you of something. The game can be accessed on PC, smartphones, Android and iOS, using a single account across multiple devices, allowing players to embark on adventures at their convenience. Additionally, the auto battle mode enables you to continue playing even while you're working or assembling a new LEGO set. If you have not started playing Raid Shadow Legends yet, what are you waiting for? Click on my link in the description or scan the QR code to get insane bonuses available only through my link. Half a million silver and other useful things to help you get started playing. As soon as you enter and crush your enemies, find me under the name Baibizan. Join my clan Baibizan and together we will become legends. So simply click the link provided in the description and we'll see you on the battlefield. Now I also require a smartphone. The map had a few spots marked that were really useful. One of the options is a camping area located on the riverbank in the midst of the forest. 
In my view, this rest area will be an ideal spot for setting up a temporary base camp. There ain't no zombies and nobody knows about this base. Once they arrived at the designated spot, Emily and Steve parked their car a few kilometers away from the camping area and continued on foot. In order to approach the camp silently and avoid being ambushed, they can do so if there is already an occupant. There's a camper parked in the campground and there are several tents set up by the shore. There is an individual standing at the boat dock and another individual next to the car. That is a zombie. Stand still and your clothes are also too dirty. Seems like no other people here, but we have to handle the deceased. For such situations, use close combat weapons. When shots are fired, zombies gather, and it's harder to deal with a crowd than with each one individually. After killing zombies, don't throw their bodies into the river. You can't mess up the source of drinking water. If you got a shovel, bury them bodies far away from camp to get rid of the stench and avoid attracting wild critters. After searching the tents and RV, the heroes found a gas stove, cans, chocolate bars, matches, a first aid kit, flashlights, a shovel, garbage bags, a knife, coffee, sugar, dry breakfasts, soap, and the board game Calderia. This is a free board game that I came up with for my followers. I'll leave the rules of the game in the description. There was a little shack by the dock with a kettle, dishes and coffee, a warm sweater, a raincoat and a hat, a fishing rod and fishing gear. This is a good catch that will help you survive in the beginning. Using soap, the heroes were finally able to take a shower. After donning fresh warm clothes and preparing dinner over the campfire, they began readying for the night. Better fold up and hide the tents. They might come in handy in the future. Some things need to be put in the main house, and the other half should be stashed in the car. If you have to divide or depart rapidly, that is how you can save at least a portion of the stolen goods. Constructing a wooden fence is time consuming, but a life hack involves using a stretched fishing line between trees and a hanging jar with stones. However, if your camp is too large, it is advisable to find a good spot where you can keep an eye on the camp and its approaches. Establish a watch and alternate every few hours so that you will be in a safer position. The night passed without incident and in the morning, the heroes embarked on their quest to find Jessica. If the attackers are assaulting the community, it indicates that they frequently raid and scout for camps where survivors are located. Therefore, it is advisable for you to proceed towards a large city and drive around the suburbs and small towns that are in its vicinity. In order to find leads, the heroes can search for some clues. Wait a moment! Help me out! He has taken control of my sister. Relax! Where does he keep it? Right here on the farm. He captured us when we were looking for food. I managed to escape, but my sister is still there. Save her, I implore you. Armed and ready, the heroes set off towards the farm. Is he alone? Yeah, here on ground floor. When storming the building, advance along the wall. Make an effort to peek into the windows. Move silently and only protrude your head and weapon from cover. Avoid getting too close to building corner to prevent gun barrel from revealing your position. Do not aim weapon at partner. Share the sectors of fire and observation between the squad fighters. The fighter behind should keep an eye on the rear. Lie! Drop weapons! Hands behind head! Please do not shoot. I ended him unconscious. Nice work. Head out to your sis. Come on, stand up. Why did you take the girl? Respond to my question. What is happening? I assure you, I did not commit any theft. Why did you steal the girl? Are you on your own here? I did not steal. That is it. Those are the ones. They knocked me out with sister. What do you mean about sister? Emily, please. They ran away. Darn it, the car is missing. The heroes were caught in a trap. After lowering their guard, they lost their car and some of the belongings that were inside it. Fortunately, they took their firearms and ammunition with them. I was searching for food in this area on the farm, but I stumbled upon these thieves. I only possessed an axe and a flashlight, but they did not even make the effort to take them from me. Looks like they were looking for a car and thought I had one. All right, elderly gentlemen, cannot leave you here all alone. And now we are without a vehicle. It will be safer to go back to the campsite together. The road back took the whole day, and the heroes returned to the camp only in the evening. Wait! Drop weapon on ground! And who are you guys? You don't look like a gangster. We ain't no gangsters. 
We decided to hide so that they wouldn't start shooting first. After chatting with some uninvited guests, the heroes found out that they used to be cops. At first the authorities thought that a rabies virus had broken out, so they sent all the cops and soldiers to deal with the street chaos. When everyone realized that it wasn't just a bunch of vandals anymore, but walking dead, it was too late. The fighters who were able to survive gathered together all the weapons and gear they could find, and then they set off, moving away from the city in search of safety. Initially, they attempted to find their relatives, but soon realized that there were no survivors left to save. Currently, they're searching for a place to crash and start a new life. We'd be thrilled if you join us in this exciting journey. But we can't start building a new camp until we deal with the gang of bandits. They're attacking settlements, destroying them and kidnapping people. And they also kidnapped my daughter. Are these the ones who live in the port warehouses? And how do you know? They held me prisoner until I was able to get away. After that, you managed to find me. Why did you not mention it earlier? You never asked. Few zombies in the warehouses, but a whole lot of them. Food and useful items, and they settle down. I think we can achieve two goals simultaneously. Get rid of the thugs and take their supplies. Save my daughter. Yeah, and let's save the captives. So tomorrow we grab the old man and go on a reconnaissance mission, while the rest stay at the camp. In the morning, upon arrival, our squad conducted recon and found about 10 armed fighters hiding in the warehouse at the location. The complex is made up of multiple buildings, has a dock on the river and includes one road. The team divided into three groups. The initial strike group will head to the main entrance and open fire on the bandits using a heavy machine gun. Now, two assault fighters under sniper's cover will come from the flank, forcing the thugs to retreat towards the pier. There will be their third group waiting, quietly arrived on a boat, which will ambush the bandits from behind and bombard them with grenades. If you do everything quickly, the thugs won't even have time to understand what's going on. They'll leave the old man a ration, let him guard the camp. Go, go, go! Oh no, this is such a real bummer! Please back up and give me some space, will you please? Hurry, leave the boat quickly! Give me the damn weapon! You'll regret it. Our friends will be coming for us soon. Are you referring to the old man who betrayed you? He's been dead for a long time. At this moment, will you let go of my wife, please? Be quiet, elderly gentleman. Enter quickly! Move fast! Yes? Mother... We must find a way to leave this place. Don't forget to use my link to Raid Shadow Legends in the description or scan my QR code to get insane bonuses for new players 